Our activity will involve glue, salt, and paint. We're going to make salt and glue painting. Are you ready to get salty? But before we get painting, we have two interesting memory verse today about salt. First is found in Matthew 5 verse 13, which says, You are the salt of the earth. Next is on Colossians 4 verse 6. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Let's prepare our materials. We'll need bond paper, pencil, glue, salt, paintbrush, watercolor, two cups with water, tissues or a washcloth. Sometimes it's hard to think of things to draw. That's why we are providing you with some simple guides that you can print out in order to follow along. Now that we have our materials, we can either use the guides or we can draw on our own. Let's start with your name. Write your name as big as you can, or you can print this Jesus guide and we'll start with this one. Get your glue and we'll trace along the outline of the letter. For this next step, it's better to have another piece of paper below so that it won't get messy. I'll be using two bond paper. Take out your salt. Be sure that you've asked permission to use the salt and that your fan is off or far away from your workspace. Pour it over the glue area. Check if you've covered it all and once you're sure, get rid of the paper of the extra salt. Place the excess into a cup for later use. Prepare your painting materials. Get your paintbrush and watercolors and let's get painting. We have two cups of water over here. When using watercolor or any paints, develop the practice of using two water to clean your brush. One is to wash off the previous color. The second one is to make sure that it's thoroughly clean before you change to the new color. You can also use this water to wet your paints. Remove excess water with a tissue or cloth. We can make our painting as colorful as possible or just choose a few. Once you're done painting, let it dry naturally. But that usually takes a long time. If you have a hair dryer, it's better to use it and dry your artwork. And now, you're done. It's as easy as that. There are other ways to color your artwork. On this one, I'm gonna draw a birthday cake because today is my mom's birthday. Instead of tracing the outline with my glue, I'm gonna fill the inside and paint that instead. Happy, happy birthday, mom. Wishing you all the best today. Do you understand the meaning of our memory verse? When Jesus said that we are the salt of the earth, what does that really mean? You probably know the most common use of salt, and that is to provide flavor to our food. But it is more popularly known for its preserving abilities. It's been used to preserve food for thousands of years, and it's even used in mummification in Egypt. Additionally, salt purifies. In Ezekiel 16 verse 4, record shows that newborn babies were rubbed with salt. The prophet Elisha used salt to treat a bad water supply in Jericho. Salt also can be used for healing. It has countless uses and very much valuable. So what Jesus is telling us when he said that we are the salt of the earth, what he really means is that we must be pure in all our ways to endure 
and be faithful despite what's happening around us. We must do our best to be valuable, enhancing the lives of others as we represent and preserve the truth about God's love through Christ every day. Jesus used everyday things to teach his message so that even today, we can be easily be reminded of them like here, the salt. Create as many salt blue painting as you like and when you are done, you can put this on a frame, stick it to your refrigerator, or give it to someone as a gift, showing them you love them and that Jesus loves them too. If you have extra salt, keep them in a container so you can use it again later for another artwork. We hope that every time you see salt, you will be reminded to be the salt of the earth every day as Jesus said. Don't forget to clean up! Goodbye and see you again next time!